today. Eight, seven, Did Jet six, lose their last five, match? Four, no. Three, Wait, why are they in the losers two, bracket? One. Fight, robots fight. Oof. Oh, Jetlag must have lost one of their earlier matches. Okay. Correct. All right. Yeah, they've been yeah. losers got it for a minute. Got it, got it, got it. All right, uh, we've got Jetlag here. And uh, it looks like there's a bit of uh, that red tape that's come off the side of, uh, of Jetlag. Now, it looks like Diamondback is just now kind of getting dialed in. Yeah. Performing the way that they're supposed to. Pretty late in the competition to get dialed in, but you never know, late than never yeah, dialed. Being a late bloomer in these competitions isn't necessarily a bad thing. When everybody else is kind of peaked out and uh, are starting to decline, you are just now hitting your stride. You're just, you're already getting an advantage, you know? That's, that's not a bad thing. One of the cool things here about both of these robots is that they are both hub motor drum spinners. And uh, to see, you know, this design go so deep into the competition, you know, uh, you, you're seeing, you know, the reliability of, of this weapon type yeah. uh, so on display. For, for brand new nine, like nine-year-old fans who just discovered the stream tonight, yeah. what is a hub motor? Okay. Um, so traditionally, uh, you know, if you see an egg beater spinner, it is uh, run by a belt. So there's a uh, there's a weapon drive, there, there's a weapon motor that sits inside of the, the body of the robot, and uh, it runs this this belt. Um, but that belt can get clipped. Um, so that's that's w one of the challenges with that design. You know, the challenge that you see with basically every other kind of finger tech egg, egg beater. Now with this Weta kit. The motor is inside of the drum, so there is no belt to clip. The one challenge with it is that uh, there's a lot of shock, you know, that that goes into that that uh, weapon motor. So um, as it as it lives inside of the uh, the drum, uh, you know, it's easy to to knock it out. It's taking a lot of damage, yeah. yeah. As it goes along, I feel like I took a 10 second description and turned it into two minutes. Uh, I think you know, you did sometimes a great job. I just start a sentence and I just kind of see how it's uh, gonna how gonna it's gonna come up. out as you go. Yeah. yeah, totally. All right, thirty seconds left here. Neither of these bots' weapons are working at this point. This is gonna actually go to the judges. Neither of these bots like to go to the judges. Really, the judges are going to be looking for here. Control. Pinning. All right, with 10 seconds left. And uh, we've got this shot here of Jetlag pinning Diamondback up against the rail. And leaving them there. Ooh, and look at that. Diamondback is stuck. And that's the end of the match. Wow. Ooh, that is... That's a great last image to show the judges, isn't it? Yeah, listen, these judges love the last minute. Kyle, the first two minutes don't matter, all right, to these judges. There's so much salt that you're just throwing all over our <laughs> table here, buddy. Diana, right. let's go ahead and start with you. Diana, what did you think about that match? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw my skip in the, in the ring right now. All right, Diana's going to be skipped. Smart. 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 All right, Don Dorfler, your thoughts on this fight? Uh, it was a pretty good match. A lot of back and forth in the first part of the match. And then after both of them lost their weapons around the same time, it was a big control fest. And I felt like uh, jet lag had the upper hand at that point. Wow, okay. We've got one vote for jet lag. How about you, Jack Tweedy? I'm also going to go for jet lag. Once the two weapons were down, it was the more aggressive of the two that's the one making the actual engagements, and towards the end, having Darwin back stuck in the corner was a big deal as well. All right, and on over to Scorpius co-captain Diana Tarlson. Will this be a unanimous judge's decision or a split judge's decision? Unanimous. All right. We've got Jetlag, which advances in the loser's bracket. Corey Nason and Diamondback going to be going home early. Yeah. But really